can the police stop any vehicle they choose to and can they demand your name and address these are just some of the questions i'm going to answer definitively in this video stay tuned So an increasing number of videos on various social media platforms, predominantly TikTok, it seems to be, people are recording police officers stopping them in their vehicle and having some kind of argument with them as to whether or not they're allowed to stop them in the first place, whether they need a reason to stop them because some people have been watching too many American movies, and then questioning whether the police are allowed to request their driving license, insurance, and indeed their name and address. And many people are rightly or wrongly getting confused about this. And so I thought I would create a definitive video to show you where the law is on exactly these points. So let me take you to the Road Traffic Act 1988, which is home to a great many of the uh, bits of law that you'll need to know when you're driving around. And if you don't know any of these laws, then I very respectfully suggest that you don't necessarily argue it out with the police officer at the side of the road in case you're wrong and you make TikTok videos proclaiming that you're right or that the police officer's wrong when that might not be the case. And instead, argue it out afterwards. Because after all, if the police officer is wrong in what they do, then you may well have a claim afterwards if they've acted outside of their lawful duty. However, in the situation where they are acting perfectly legally in accordance with the Road Traffic Act, um, I hope this video will serve as some use to you. So looking at Section 163, this provides a very broad, non-descript power that a police officer in uniform can stop any vehicle for no reason whatsoever. And by that, I mean, they don't need a reason. It provides that a person driving a mechanically propelled vehicle, I'll come back to that in just a moment, on a road must stop the vehicle on being required to do so by a constable in uniform or by a traffic officer. And a person riding a cycle on a road must stop the cycle on being required to do so by a constable in uniform. And if a person fails to comply with this section, they are guilty of an offence. So any officer in uniform or a traffic officer can stop any vehicle. They do not need a reason. There is no reason provided in this section. You just have to stop. And if you fail to stop, surprisingly enough, that's referred to as a failure to stop offence under Section 163 of the Road Traffic Act. Now, talking about a mechanically propelled vehicle, there is uh, a section here, meaning of a motor vehicle and other expressions in relation to vehicles. And this details various different uh, motor vehicles. I'm not going to go into this too much, but one that is of interest for uh, other videos that I've done before are things such as uh, motor tractors, motorcycles, um, and various other things. But we'll come back to those in other videos. So police officer can stop you under section 163 so if you didn't know that now you do uh, now you can save any embarrassment of arguing with the police officer as whether they can stop a vehicle at random for no reason they do not need a reason they can just stop and in fact they do very often they run random stop checks as the police refer to them which is essentially just the police setting up at the side of the road stopping random vehicles uh, as and whenever they choose to. And the reason they're doing that is typically checking insurance details, checking um, license, name and address, who's in the vehicle and all of that sort of thing, which is what we're going to come back to in a minute. There may be um, other reasons for the stop. There may They may be stopping you for a particular reason. That's not a Section 163 stop. A Section 163 stop is, I would like you to stop the vehicle. And that's it, you must stop. Moving on, section 164, this takes this power even further. Any of the following persons, so this is an either or, any one of these, the person driving a motor vehicle on a road, the person whom a constable or vehicle examiner has reasonable cause to believe to have been the driver of a motor vehicle at a time when an accident occurred owing to its presence on a road. So there's been an accident, they believe you were driving. Or a person whom a constable or vehicle examiner has reasonable cause to believe to have committed an offence 
in relation to the use of a motor vehicle on a road. So you've committed a driving offence and they believe that you were driving the vehicle. Or, and these are all the alternatives, or a person supervising the holder of provisional, so somebody supervising someone learning to drive and uh, so on. Must on being required to do so, and this is the key bit for all of these alternatives, the key bit here, must on being required to do so uh, by a constable or vehicle examiner, produce his license for examination so as to enable the constable or the vehicle examiner to ascertain the name and address of the holder of the license, the date of issue and the authority by which it was issued. So the purpose, not only are you required to produce your driving license, the purpose is to ascertain the name and address of the holder of the license, the date of its issue and who issued the driving license. And the person required to uh, buy a constable to produce the license must, in a prescribed circumstance, being required to do so, state his date of birth. So if you're required to do that, you are also required to provide your date of birth. And failure to do so is an offence, but there is a defence to the offence of failing to provide if you do that within seven days. So it would be a defence... It would be a defence in proceedings against any person for failing to produce the uh, licence. It shall be a defence for him to show uh, that within seven days after the production of the licence was required to be produced in person at a police station specified by him at the time that it was required or as soon as reasonably practicable and so on and so on. So it's a defence to the offence of failing to provide at that moment in time to provide it within seven days, colloquially referred to as a producer. At least it used to be. Um, not sure if that shows my age or what, but there we go. So that's 164. So again, the first section of this, a person driving a motor vehicle on a road. So if you're on a road in a motor vehicle, you can be required to provide your driving license and your date of birth. Simple. So if you didn't know that, now you do. So again, you can avoid any embarrassment of arguing with the police officer as to whether that's the case. But there's more. Section 165. This is about names and addresses and, broadly speaking, insurance and various other test certificates, MOT and, and what have you. So again, any of the following persons, a person driving a motor vehicle on a road or the person whom they have reasonable cause to believe to be the driver on on, on a road uh, with an ac where an accident occurred, or again in the alternative, um, committed an offence. So same options as before. Must on being required by a constable or vehicle examiner, give his name and address and the name and address of the owner of the vehicle, and produce the following documents for examination. So any one of those. If you're driving a motor vehicle on a road or there's been an accident or you've committed an offence and they believe you were driving, you must, on being required to do so by a constable, provide your name and address and the name and address of the owner of the vehicle because they're not always the same. It may be registered to somebody else. You might be driving and it might be your husband's car, your wife's car, your brother's car, whatever, whatever. You must provide both details, both sets of details and the following documents for examination. And those relevant documents are the relevant insurance certificate and uh, and so on, the test certificate and, and, and so on and so forth. So these are the documents required to be produced. And so it is very straightforward. Uh, hopefully you now know that not only the police can stop any vehicle on a road if they're in uniform, for no reason at all. This is a 163 stop. I had a question the other day about police in unmarked vehicles. Obviously, they will have the blue flashy lights. If they decide to pull a vehicle over, there must be some other reason. That's typically um, because there's been an offence and, and, and whatever, and they are pulling them over uh, for a specific reason. Um, but they will still be in uniform. And as soon as the vehicle has lights, it is a blue lighted vehicle and therefore uh, the blue lights indicate you need to pull over and so on having been pulled over you can be required to produce your 
uh, documents and if you don't then you can produce those within seven days as a defense but you are also required to provide your name and address and the name and address of the owner of the vehicle if that's different so that is just a very short video to clarify the situation police can pull any vehicle over and ask for those details the videos that i've seen are unnecessarily antagonistic with police officers in my experience and in experiences reported to us if you are polite with the police officers you are more likely to just be on your way very quickly and less likely to raise suspicion and yes being antagonistic is going to raise a certain degree of suspicion that is just common sense whether it seems uh, nice or not people that are being argumentative are normally being argumentative for a reason and even if there isn't a reason it still raises suspicion that there's a reason even if there isn't a reason it raises suspicion so uh, save yourself the trouble save yourself the argument um you can uh, of course uh, always ask for the officer's details and all of these sorts of things but there is merely no point in having an unnecessary argument as to whether or not the police officer is allowed to pull you over ask for your documents your name and address and so on so i hope that's useful uh, please make sure you like this video and subscribe and as always thank you for watching mm -hmm.